Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a comparison table in a WordPress website. Here, I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create a comparison table. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for table Berg. So this is the plugin that I'm going to use to create a comparison table. You will see it here. Table block by Table Berg based WordPress table plugin. So let's click on install now and click on activate. So the plugin is installed and it is activated. Let's skip this one. And you will be on the dashboard of the Table Berg plugin. Let's go to pages. I have one sample page here. So let's go to edit sample page. Let's delete everything from here. Now click on the plus sign and search for table bug or table you will see the table bug option here this is the default table block that comes with the gutenberg and here we have a table bug right or you can click here and search for table bug from here so you will see it here right so click on it now you will see an option to create a table let's close this one from here you can change the number of columns and rows that you want to add in a table there are some pre-built tables that you can also use. If I click on it, you will see some pre-designed tables that you can use to create any kind of table. You will see pricing table. This one is available for the free version. This is also available for the free version. Then we have pros and cons. You will see pros and cons option here. Some layouts are not available for the free version. You will need a pro plugin for that. You will see feature box. This is a feature box layout and you will see comparison table also however these comparison tables are not available in the free version if you want to create more advanced comparison tables like these then you will need to go for pro version in this video we are going to create a simple comparison table all right so let's close this option and i'm going to create two columns and four rows all right so click on create and you'll see two columns and four rows table here now in the first column, I'm going to enter the name of the product that I want to add in comparison table. Let's add the name of the product. And in the second column, I'm going to add the name of the second product. Now here I want to add the image of the product. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. And when you click on the plus sign, you will see different options that you can use in the table. So you can add simple text, list, button, image and custom HTML. I think custom HTML is available for the pro version only. So click on the plus sign and look for image. So I'm going to add image. Let's upload an image. So this is the product image. If you want to increase the size, you can increase the size. Uh, let's center align it. In the second column, I'm going to add second image. Let's increase the size. Center align it. All right, so we have two products here. Now here I want to add the list of features for this first product. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here and search for list. Okay, so we are going to create a list of features. So let's add the first feature, enter, second feature. All right, so I have added some features of this product. And in this column also, I'm going to add list. Click on the plus sign and look for list. So these are the features of this second product. All right, now below that, I want to add a buy now button. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and look for button and enter the text here, buy now. And let's increase the width, center align the text and the button also and go to style settings and change the background color of the button all right and uh, this is the text color change the hover background color and here you can add your affiliate link for the product all right so when someone clicks on it it will go to your affiliate link in this column also i'm going to add the same button so i'm going to copy this and paste it here right so we have a button for the second product you can change the link for this button so you can add your 
affiliate link again for this product. All right, so this is a simple comparison table. Now let's customize it. Select the table from here. So we have selected the entire table and you will see the settings for this table. The first option is fixed with sales. Disable header, right now the header is disabled. You can make the top row as header. So I'm going to make the top row as header. Then we have footer. If you want to add footer, you can also add footer. Then below that we have table width. You can adjust the table width, table alignment to the right, to the center or to the left. All right, all the other settings are for the pro version. Now let's go to the style settings and go to header background color. So we have the header at the top. So we are going to change the background color for the header. Okay, now we need to change the header text color also. So go to the text and change the text color to white. Do the same thing for the second one. All right, so we have got the header. Select the table again, go to style settings. Now we can change the even row background color. Let's change it to something like this. So this is going to be even row. And if you want to change the odd row background color, you can also change the odd row background color like this. All right, so these are the style settings. If you have footer, then you can change the bar footer color also. Sales padding, you can also adjust the sales padding from here. All right, then we have block spacing. Then we have table border here. If you want to add border, you can also add border to the table. Increase the width, two pixel. These are the global font settings. So if you want to change the font, global font for this table, you can change it from here. Font color, then we have link color small medium you will see the changes here this is now medium and this is large so medium looks good once you are done with the settings click on save and let's view the page and you will see the table here now this one has a border so we are going to remove the border color from here All right, and let's change the width. Click save. Let's go back, refresh it. And now this is the comparison table. So using the free table bug plugin, you can create a simple comparison table. If you want more advanced comparison tables like these, you can go for the pro version of the plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.